You are likely aware of the importance of the yellow card and red cards when discussing the potential addition of an orange card in football. If you haven't already, you can find more information about this topic here. However, there are more discussions regarding the introduction of another card, the green card. What is the green card and why does it exist in football? The concept of a green card in football is a topic of debate among different factions in the sport. While some advocates push for its introduction to the modern game, there is no agreement on its purpose. Some proponents view it as a disciplinary measure for negative behavior, while others see it as a way to reward positive actions. In 2016, the green card was introduced in Syria, and the advocates for the card can be divided into two groups. The first case involves B. Christian Galano, who was the first player to receive the green card from Marco Minardi. Galano's team, Vicenza Culture, was awarded a corner kick by the referee, but Galano informed the referee that the ball had hit one of his teammates, and his team should not have been given the corner. The referee changed his decision and blew for a goal kick instead, and Galano was awarded the green card for his exemplary behavior. On the field of play, it's rare to see selfless acts from football players, but Michael Minardi decided to reward such exemplary behavior with a green card. However, it wasn't an actual physical card, but rather a virtual one. Years later, in 2018, during the Conifer World Cup, the green card was issued with a completely different significance. For those curious, Conifer stands for Confederation of Independent Football Associations, which is essentially a governing body. The teams that are not recognized by FIFA participated in the Conifer World Cup in 2018, where the green card was shown to a few players. But this time, it wasn't rewarded for exemplary behavior, rather for dissent and disrespect towards match officials. The introduction of the green card in the competition was to deter disrespect shown to match officials during matches. According to Conifer rules, such actions were considered punishable, but not as severely as a red card. However, the green card also results in a sending off, meaning the team with the player who received it would be reduced to 10 men. The green card, which has been advocated for by different factions in the footballing world, has been issued in various competitions with different meanings. In Syria in 2016, it was awarded virtually to Christian Galano for a selfless act of informing the referee of a mistake that favored his team. In the Conifer World Cup in 2018, the physical green card was used to punish players for dissent and disrespect towards match officials without the severe consequences of a red card. However, the Irish Football Association intends to introduce the green card into their games as a means to promote fair play. In this case, the card will be awarded to entire teams and considered as a criterion for team progress. Despite these efforts, there is a need for a unified front to present a clear meaning to the green card in mainstream football. However, asking teams to play fair is quite a vague and broad requirement, isn't it? This is precisely why the Irish FA provided a list of specific actions that teams must take to earn the green card. These requirements can be found on the organization's official website and include working with either teammates or opposing players. These requirements include working collaboratively with teammates or opponents, playing with fairness and respect, and demonstrating good sportsmanship. Other requirements include apologizing for fouls committed, shaking hands with opposing players before play restarts, showing respect to game officials, players and coaches, and lining up to shake hands after each game with the opposing team and match officials. If a team successfully meets all these criteria, they will be awarded a green card. It's worth noting that only one green card can be awarded per game to any given team. If a team fails to earn a green card in any of their games, they won't be able to make it to the future football cup. This ensures that players are encouraged to play fair, or else they'll miss out on playing on the big stage. What are your thoughts on this innovation? Do you think the green card should be introduced into mainstream football? If so, how should it be used? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notifications so you never miss any of our new content. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Until then.